Welcome to Yes, We're Here. I'm Meredith Morakovitz alongside James Paxton, who's hanging out in Wisconsin right now. James, first and foremost, how are you? How are your family right now? Uh, we're doing good. We're healthy, uh, luckily. Everyone's doing well. Uh, we're just hanging out, waiting patiently to uh, get our lives back going again like everybody else. Now, Aaron Boone mentioned the other day when I talked to him that you've been throwing bullpens already. How many bullpens have you thrown, and how is that back feeling? Oh, man, I think I've thrown probably 12 to 14 bullpens. Uh, it's feeling really good. Back is a non-issue. I feel totally healthy. Uh, so I'll be ready to go as soon as the season uh, comes about. Even though you had said, even when we were in spring training, that you were feeling better day by day, when you threw that first bullpen, was there any trepidation wondering how the back was going to feel afterwards? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I was nervous going into it. You know, I was feeling really good playing catch, uh, so that was a really good sign. But, you know, it's always different when you get off the mound. So I was really interested to see how I was going to feel the next day, and I it turned out feeling really good. I never really had too many issues with the back after uh, – after I kind of got going, um, but it's been getting better and better. You know, the velocity is getting better and better, breaking balls and stuff like that, getting feel for my pitches. Um, so everything's going really well. Do you change your approach at all, the way you go about your business, because you're coming off of a surgery like that? Um, I have some new routines, you know, that I do pre-workout and pre-bullpen now just to make sure that back is nice and loose and activated. You know, the muscles are all activated. So there's a little bit of pre-work that goes into it. Um, but right now, it's just kind of maintenance stuff. Um, I think I'm back to full strength. You know, if a season was ready to start tomorrow or a spring training would be ready to start tomorrow, I'd be, I'd be ready to be just like one of the other guys and do all the regular stuff. Now, I'm just curious, if you're throwing bullpens, that means somebody has to be catching. So who did you enlist as your uh, partner to help you out? Well, I'm lucky. I have a uh, friend here that has a private facility, baseball facility, and I have some workout equipment in there that I'm able to work out with. And it's called Turn 2 Sports here. And uh, he gets down, he plays catch with me five days a week, and we throw two bullpens a week. Now, Matt Blake spoke a lot during spring training about how they were incorporating all this new technology, the cameras for the pitchers. Have you been in correspondence with him at all? Have you been sending him any video? We have been talking, and I have been sending him a video of my bullpens and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have the same kind of technology, technology that they have um, down in spring training or even in New York to track my pitches and spin rate and all that interesting stuff. Um, I did, there is a ball we have here that tracks spin rate to a degree. Um, and I have been working on a few things to increase, to increase my spin rate and I've seen some good uh, results there. So continuing to try and improve over this time, even though we're, we're not playing. James, how do you change that? How do you tinker around to increase your spin rate? Well, for me, what I found was how I hold the ball. Um, how I hold my fastball. I'm trying to hold it a little bit differently with uh, less contact on my thumb because I, I guess that's supposed to kind of like put some drag on the ball. So I've been trying not to touch my thumb as much to the ball. And I have this like hitchhiker's thumb, you can see. So I kind of hold it with this, like this part of my thumb instead of this part. And, I, and I've been noticing some more spin and backspin when I throw the ball. I have to imagine when you first try that, it's a little bit awkward. Does it take a while to feel confident about changing that a little bit? Yeah, it was a little bit weird. Um, I know I've heard guys say that when you tuck your thumb underneath the fastball, that's when you get the most spin. But I just have no feel for the balls going when it's there. So that's I still have kind of that guiding uh, thing with my thumb here. But because I still have my thumb on the ball, I have that pad of my thumb off of the ball. I still experience some increase in spin, which has been fun to see. How anxious are you to face hitters again? Oh, I can't wait. You know, I'm really excited to get back out there, feel the adrenaline, get in some competition. Um, it'll, be, it'll be great once we get going again. How much have you been keeping up with guys on the team? Um, I've talked to a few. Um, I've been talking to Garrett uh, a decent amount and uh, Zach Britton and some other guys. Um, seems like everyone's kind of in the same boat, just trying to stay as ready as possible for whenever something can get going. It seems like for you that might be even more difficult, the fact that you're coming off the injury, trying to get yourself back in shape, get yourself uh, where you want to be. How do you gauge your workouts not knowing when that start date is going to be? 
Well, I think I'm just trying to continue to progress. You know, um, at some point it will be a bit of a holding pattern um, because you can only go so far when you're not facing, you know, getting into a live game and facing other teams and getting that adrenaline going. But uh, I'm still trying to create more and more feel for my breaking balls. I'm working on a changeup that's actually uh, coming out pretty good right now. And uh, just continuing to work on the repeatability of my, of my delivery and my location of my pitches and everything. Um, and as far as amount of throws, you know, I've got to the point where I'm throwing a bullpen and then I'll do like two mock innings. I've had some guys come in and stand in so I kind of can see what a hitter looks like in the box and uh, run through some counts and stuff like that to try and get myself as ready as possible. Now, we saw a video of Garrett Cole playing catch with his wife. Did you ever try to convince your wife, Katie Joe, to stand in just so you have somebody, if those guys aren't available, stand in the batter's box for you? Uh, I don't think she'd be too comfortable standing in, but we did play a little bit of catch. Um, and we played catch quite a bit, actually, for about a week. And then her arm got sore, and she was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have her get injured on top of it during this quarantine period. Exactly. It, it, does, it does look like you and your family are having some fun trying to make lemonade out of lemons. Uh, what, what have you guys been up to with social media and just gathering? You guys seem to be laughing and having a good time. Yeah, um, well, Katie's kind of got into doing some TikTok videos. Um, I know it's it's been a little bit since her last one, but she got into doing some of those. She's been practicing in the kitchen, and I've been her video video guy to uh, get some of those on uh, on camera for her. Uh, we got bikes. We bought bikes, and we've been going for bike rides around town here and stuff, and trying to keep ourselves busy. Would you consider yourself a TikTok master yet? Absolutely not. I barely know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing with Instagram. You know, Katie has to, tells me she has to teach me how to do Instagram because I did uh, I did a couple podcasts and I put one out on my Instagram the other day and she was saying, oh, you need to learn how to put the link on there so people can just press it and go to it. And I'm like, I have no idea what that is. So, you know, I'm still learning and, and all that technology stuff. Well, keep the stories coming. I know the, lo the fans love to hear from you and they love to see what all of you guys are up to thank you so much for joining me stay safe and i hope to see you at the ballpark soon james you bet same to you